here with Australian coach John Menenti. Uh John, obviously quite raw, but what were your thoughts on, on the match? Yeah, well, firstly, congratulations to the French team. They've been very good all season. Improved a lot and showed today what a, what a worthy uh, opponent they were um, to fight back from sort of the half-time deficit. Full credit to them. Um, you know, obviously disappointed for our girls who work so hard. And, uh, you know, obviously a few plans sort of had to go out the window. We bring Elliot on as an impact player. She has that impact. And then, you know, HIA rules are out. So you can't, you know, you can't sort of control those things. But such a, a potent weapon as her uh, was, was hard. And then we, you know, we had to shuffle the deck a bit. And, and then in, uh, later on, Quirky gets injured at a key time. So that's footy and you've got to respond to that. And we've got, you know, obviously made plans around all those sort of concessions. But in big games, those you know, little minutes matter, you know. Uh, We'll probably, um, uh, you know, probably, you know, should have probably taken a few more opportunities with the ball in the first half. I think we created a little bit and didn't finish them off. Um, if we scored just sort of on half time there, we probably open the game up. But again, that's footy, and, and you got to, you know, you got to take your chance when they come. And uh, you know, we're going to have to dust ourselves off now and uh, and fight, uh, come back and fight really hard to uh, to try and get the bronze. Um, uh, what, what was the like going into that? Uh, second half, you guys had a lot of the ball. Um, you're in, going in 12-0. Was was it just that they had too much possession in your half in the second half, and that eventually told? Was that was that the difference? Do you think? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we, we you know, I want to say we. Uh, the penalty count sort of went against us a bit. We just couldn't get a run on uh, a run of possession there, um, and you know. Yeah, we're more than capable of scoring long, long range tries. We pushed a few, yeah, we pushed a few or created a few holes, uh, but then at the end of those sort of just turned over at the breakdown there. So uh, pretty, pretty hard to, um, you know, to, to assess that from the sideline sort of thing. But certainly, um, you know, we've probably got to keep working hard on that breakdown work and be better at that. Um, uh, the French were clearly coming in hard at that ball, and, and we knew they would because they've done it all weekend. So, um, you know, like I said, an initial, assess initial assessment was we probably just didn't take those, uh, or, you know, just 1% off at times, and that was enough to hurt us in a, in a tight game against a good opponent. Um, I know we've said this week that, uh, yeah, one area that New Zealand have, have really tried to dominate you is the breakdown, and, yeah, as you say, that happened again this afternoon. Does that just reinforce that that's the area where you guys sort of need to improve to get back to the top? Yeah, well, you know, like I said, it's, it's a work in progress. It's something we, um, it's something that, you know, like I said, I think we've improved on. Like I said, until until you know today, we've done we've done pretty well. Um, and Spanish are quite strong there, so we were really pleased with that. Um, but you know, like I said, we're just going to have to keep keep working hard and go back to the drawing board and keep improving. And we'll get a bit of a well, you know, like I said, we 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 got you know a long break. You know, in the next few hours now, we'll, we'll, we'll analyse who comes next and go from there. And was it just Elia and uh, and Alicia that had injury concerns? No other injury concerns. I don't think so. Elia's Elia's fine. Um, it was unfortunately it was, you know, it's one of those decisions they asked to take her off. Elia's a bit vague sometimes, so you know, it might have been that. But um, uh, unfortunately, you know, obviously it hurt us at a key time. So uh, our, and Quirk initial assessment on Quirk is she probably won't be playing in the next game. But you know, we'll see. Like I said, we've got a, we've got about four or five hours, so we'll see how she shapes up. Hard luck, mate. Good luck in the bronze medal. Thanks, Norman. Thank you.